So there's a Roblox game called Studio Light, which is basically just Roblox Studio as a Roblox game. So I thought, why not make a game, but inside of a game, which is kind of confusing. So here we are, but I think we're stuck in light theme. My eyes. Oh, and now I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. <sighs> okay, I might have to get used to this. So what shall we make? Maybe we could just add in a part and see what we can make. Uh, maybe let's add in like a, a cylinder. There we go. And then why don't we try and turn this into like a coin that we can pick up? How big should it be? Maybe something like that. But let's change the color to yellow. Or should I say new yellow? There we go. I guess before we actually make the pickup mechanic, we need to make a leader stats. So, serve the script service. Add in a script if you can. Uh, script. Uh, there it is. Whoa! What is all this? This isn't what I was expecting. I, I think these are like pre made things. Okay. I think first we should just start from scratch. Okay. So, why is it so small? How do I zoom in? Uh, I guess I can't. Okay. So, remove print. Boom! The script is done. I guess we just close it and click play. Whoa! Oh my god, it actually works. So we have no coins because we can't actually pick this up yet. Oh my god! Whoa! I guess I forgot to anchor it. Now let's click the coin. First we need to anchor it and maybe turn off Cancolide. But inside of it, let's add in a script. Right, let's remove that. There we go. Coin script is done, I think. Let's hope that works. So play. Great, we've got an error. Uh, I think this should work now. Hopefully this works. Let's see. So the, the error's gone, so that's good. So let's pick up the coin. <gasps> it works! Will it appear? Where is it? Yes! It works! Yeah! So that is the coin done. You know what, let's actually make that like the, the main game mechanic. Let's place down a couple of coins. Maybe it could be like a coin picking up simulator. Placing coins down around the map. I'm just going to change the base plate to be the grass because that'll be easier. That is an awful colour. What is that? So I think I want to make like a, a door, like an X area. So let's add in this part and rotate it. Whoop. Then scale. I'll just make the move up a bit. Uh, how big should it be? Oh my god. Oh my, what? Okay. Oh my god, finally. Now we need to add in a text label. Let's make it say 10 cash. Just 10 cash, that's it. Then I want to add these like pillar bits outside of the door. Because otherwise if it's just a, a part, that's going to be ugly. So let's add in a cylinder, got to rotate it, and then scale it up. Okay, so that's the door finished. Well, not really, because I need to script it. Well, that's the script done. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it says we need 10 cash to enter, but I'm poor, so give me a minute to collect some cash. So let's go up to the door, walk into it, and see if it works. Boom! Well, of course it works, since I'm such a good scripter. Great, we've got an error. What? Right, that's the main mechanics done. So I think I'm going to work on the map for a bit. So let's extend this part out for the wall and then change the colour to a nice brick kind of colour. Is that right? Something like that should be okay. Now let's duplicate it and move it across. <coughs> okay, I think this is an okay size for the map. It's looking pretty good so far. It, it could definitely do with some more decoration though because it's looking pretty empty. And what better thing to add than a tree? So let's add in the part and resize it, make it a bit taller. And there we go. Then let's make it a kind of brown colour, something like that. Actually, maybe a bit darker. Okay, that's a lot better. Then let's duplicate it and move it up. And then resize it for the leaves on both sides so it isn't like off to one side. I'm not sure how big to actually make it. Maybe just like a square for now. Is that right? Uh, no, oh, nope. Urgh. There we go. Now let's copy paste that and stick it on top. Final part, and boom, that's the tree complete. Now let's copy paste it around the map with your super slow move tool. What? Whoa, now that's more like it. Okay, how's it looking in game? Ooh, not bad, not bad, but it's still looking pretty bold, especially in the middle. So let's add in a good old simulator path. And we can do that just by getting a cylinder and turning it into a big flat circle. I'm not sure if this is the exact middle, but who cares, it's close enough. I also don't know if I should remove the base plate texture or not, because it makes it look less plain, but it's also getting in the way of the path. Oh, 
Never mind. I was able to fix it. I actually don't know what else to add now. You know what? I don't know what I was thinking when making this door. Like, why is it only 10 cash? Why is it so cheap? So let's change it to about 1,000. I also got to change it in the script as well. So if coins equals to 1,000, and we'll do the same here. And there we go. But since 1,000 coins is quite a lot, I'm going to extend this path out for a bit. And then add in a multiplier button. So add in a cylinder again and rotate and then resize it for a flat button. So let's change color to a, a red color since all buttons seem to be red. Then we can add in a billboard GUI to make the text float above it. And then let's change it to say two times multiplier for 100 cash. But the price is actually going to double every time you buy it. But before we actually script the button, we need to add in a multiplier value to the lead the stats. So if we just do the same as with coin value, then uh, change the name and yeah. And there we go, that should work. Anyway, back to the button. To get it to work, I'm just gonna copy paste the door script and change it up a bit. Come on, please work. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, that should do it. Okay, let's see if it works. I also set the price to five in the script, just so it wouldn't take as long to test. So, I have a one times multiplier, but if you buy this, then it upgrades to a times two multiplier. Woohoo! It works. Okay, so before we move on to the next area, I'm just going to make a, a few more decorations. So first, I'm going to make a rock. And because I'm building kind of like a, a blocky style, it should be kind of easy to make. Um, does this look like a rock? It kind of just looks like a grey blob. Okay, let's duplicate it and make it smaller. There we go. I think that looks a bit better than before. So let's go ahead and copy paste it and boom! This area is almost complete. But I just have one last decoration that I want to make. So I want to make a bit of grass. So if we add in a part, make it like a little rectangle and then duplicate it a few times and change the size of them. Finally, turn them green. Oh yeah, that's the grass done. And now let's place them around the map in random little areas. I think down by the trees and rocks, then that would look good. Although if this was floating for some reason, get back down. But yeah, apart from that, I think that's the map done. Let's just give it a quick test to see how the gameplay is looking. So we can pick up the coins and I need to save up quite a lot. Okay, so I have enough cash to buy the multiplier and if we buy it, then it doubles in price. And we now get double the coins, oh yeah. Which also means I'm gonna be rich. Okay, so now I have enough cash to buy the door and I might have added in a little secret behind it. So let's just go ahead and open it. And whoa! So, um, this has already taken me quite a while to make. I know it might not look like it. So, if you subscribe, I might make a part two. I, I know it doesn't look like I've made much, but I swear I have. So yeah, subscribe if you want me to carry on with this game. Check out this really cool video because it's cool and you might like it. So please watch it and subscribe.